And tonight with NDOT's latest construction project, this time closing down a major stretch of 465 on the southeast side. The interstate closed down about an hour ago now. News 8's Jenny Dreisler is live for us tonight with what drivers need to know. Jenny. Yeah, it's been a very busy summer for NDOT. This is their third major project, and this one in particular will have the interstate shut down for 15 days. I think it's kind of uh, annoying. If Indy drivers thought they were out of the woods when it comes to seeing orange cones, many of them will likely be seeing red. That's because NDOT has shut down another portion of the highway. Yeah, it's all summer. My son lives in Mooresville, so I don't get to see him now because, I mean, there's too much construction. And he's only 20, so he doesn't like driving down. The, I mean, so that would. That's the biggest part that sucks of any. The closure impacts a nine mile stretch of road, the east and northbound lanes of I 465 from I 65 to I 70 on the southeast side. I wish they would just do it all in one, one time and get it over with. Just, I mean, all in one time instead of just doing it piece by piece. Everything feels like it's been on construction for like the last 10 years. The I-465 and I-74 junction on the city's southeast side is blocked off. The work is all part of a statewide $150 million plan to fix winter damage and pavement conditions around the state. INDOT is encouraging drivers to plan ahead and find alternate routes during the closure. Hopefully soon it'll be done and we can drive through 465 without having to have 10 minute stops without moving. Okay, so once this is done, it's set to wrap up on August 24th. We're not done after that because then the other side has to be closed down for another 15 days. We're told, Brooke, that that will happen sometime in September. Okay, so Jenny, walk us through how drivers get around this one. Okay, so you guys have a couple of options. We've got it laid out for you. Take a look at your screen. Here's what you can do. Main thing here, you want to take I-70 eastbound through downtown Indy back to I-465 northbound, or if you're trying to get to 465 eastbound, you can just take Southeastern Avenue, Washington Street, or 10th Street. And then for the 465 northbound drivers, you can take Shadeland Avenue, Emerson, or even Post Road. I know this is a lot, so don't worry. We've got all this on our website at wishtv.com.